Got it! Jeez! Well, that's a good way to start the video. Hello everybody, I'm Matthew the Skunk here. Welcome back to tomorrow. Let's play Banjo-Tooie. In the last episode, we started our grand adventure here in Mayhem Temple. And in this episode, we're going to be continuing our merry adventure on our way, so... Let's go ahead and get going here. Okay. So, what I want to do next is actually head back to Humble Wumba. Because if you try to talk to this guy, hmm, I don't think we speak that language. Yeah, we can't understand any of those guys, so. I think Humble Wumba might be able to help us with that. But, before we actually do... Excuse me. Jesus. Sorry about that, guys. Man. Okay. Uh, actually, before I go into Targetin's temple, I actually wanted to head back to the flight pad, because I wanted to go through that other doorway. That that other guy opened to find Targetin's priceless relic thingy. Uh, where is the flight pad? There you are. One more until we can head back to Cheeto and get our first ever cheat, which I believe is going to be the, the eggs. Alright, so when we open this door, it'll take us to an area that we can't get to yet until way later in the game. But we are in Ungabungus Cave. Oh jeez, I think there's a... Oh, I thought I could get it. Huh? Get out of Ungus Cave! Ah, I thought I could try to cheese it and use the torch to get over. Crap. Well, let's try again. Alright, let's go ahead and try again. Yes, made it! Ha <laughs> ha! Nail it! Oh, uh, now I gotta slowly walk all the way back with this. Oh my gosh. Uh, the joys of walking while we have this in our hands. Hopefully, I don't accidentally step onto the thing. Alright. Back we go. Okay. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hang on, hang on. Just making sure. So I'm looking around. I'm making sure I didn't, don't miss anything. Alright, you can slide down. Whee! You found Target to his Princess Relic thingy. The caveman stole it. Why those thieving little... Careful, this is a family game. Oh yeah, so it is. Why don't I just give you a chicky? That makes sense to me. Wahey! Uh oh. Hey, Pebble gone. Me in much trouble. Big beatings. Oh yeah, damn right you are in trouble. <sighs> 
Oh yeah, right to an empty gate that's not even open yet. Uh, I actually need to get some honey back. Let's just go ahead and get this, uh, this hive here. Right back up, there we go. Alright, now next, let's, I'm gonna go ahead and start on Target Zan's temple. drink here. Uh, give me a second, guys. Okay. Now I got that out of the way, let's go ahead and go into the temple. Good. I see you have mastered the art of bird handling. I now challenge you to collect the sacred statues and find your prize. Ouch. A challenge, is it? <laughs> As said by Luke Sert. Okay, so inside Target Zan's temple, we've got a little bit of a counter over there in the bottom right corner. As you can see on your screen while you're watching this video. And if you, do, and if you are watching this video, please be sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. As I do try to work really hard to make these videos. I'm just trying to remember my bearings as I go along here, because I barely remember this game at all. I would use the, uh, the C buttons as well to uh, navigate back and forth. So where are you, beaver? Beaver guy. Okay. So there's a path. There we go. There you. There it is. We got a. Uh, Got, got some rapid fire eggs here. We got a, we just got a limited timer on them, so we gotta make use of them. Come on. I also heard a ginger in here. I wanna try and find if I can get that. Ten statues gained you enter to my slightly sacred chamber. I don't know how many statues in here I can get. Way toward the Jinjo. I think it's. I think it's. I think it's this door. Come on, open. Thank you. Hey, there we go. Blue Jinjo. One of seven. Whee! Okay. Just want to go back on this path this way. What this guy? Here, let's go into the uh, the slightly sacred chamber. Target's in slightly sacred chamber, and a free jiggy. Nice. That brings our total up to nine so far. Hang on, no, that ain't it yet. I think it's 20 statues to f 
be able to get into the other chamber, if I had to guess? Again, I don't remember this game as I used to. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Oh, where else are there statues? Okay, hello. I almost forgot the freaking controls are reversed here. Can I hit you? I can hit you, okay. Oh, let's make our way over quickly before he comes back to life. There are statues over there. Most impressive mortal. Twenty statues gains you would enter to my really sacred chamber. The statue just disappeared. Let's get the hell out of here. You can go die. What are these things actually called? I don't even remember. But I digress. Let's try and get back to the the main chamber core. Can. What do these, what do these signs say? <laughs> Got for door panels in the walls and press A when standing in front of them. In front of it. Yeah, good to know, Jim Jars. Thanks. What about this one? Regal Blaster section. Activate the aiming site by holding R. Release the button to deactivate it again. Okay. Find my way through. Where am I? I'm lost in Targetan's temple. Oh yeah, I think I remember where to go. If I can get away from this guy. It's gotta be through here. And through this door. Ow! You can go die. Alright, let's head into the really sacred chamber then. Targeton's really sacred chamber. Look, Banjo! There's another Jiggy! This is just too easy. Yep, we'll have the game finished in no time. Uh, Banjo? Halt, mortal. Thought you'd get another Jiggy that easily, eh? Target's in. Despotic Dizzy Totem God. I am Target Zan, mighty Mayan god of target shooting. Prepare to meet thy dark ridden doom! I can't feel my legs anymore! Get him, you worthless moggy! Oh, that they're called moggies. I'll be right back, you guys.
Okay guys, apologies for that slight pause. My mom just had some clothes for me. Let's continue. Suffer as I invoke my secret self destruct. Oh, that's gotta leave a mark. Dun, dun, dun. Now, I actually want to get out of the temple really quickly, so I'm gonna take an intentional death since we got infinite lives. Keep on hitting me. Thank you. Oh, will that actually take me? Yes, it will. Okay, thank you. That actually helps. Okay. Now, I think the last thing we can actually do in M Mayhem Temple... There we go. We need to enlist the help of Kamalonga. Now, Hamawamba, she is actually the one who's going to be doing our animal transformations in this game, aside from, aside from Mumbo, so... Let's see what she has us transform into. What is this? One but called this Stony. Use control stick to move and press beat for big heat barge attack. Jump back in Humble Pool and want to be Baron Bird again. Okay. <laughs> I love that just yeah. <laughs> Now, the stony has a bit of its uses. First and foremost, if you fucking... This guy will shut up. I don't want that. First of all, we can... Under the strong rocks, you will find many surprises. And we were just telling us about that flight pad back at the beginning of the world. Uh, let's go to the world entry and exit. Because... That other extra honeycomb piece I talked about is actually back here, but we couldn't get it as Banjo and Kazooie. We have to actually use the Stony to get it. <laughs> okay, the next one. The next thing we gotta do is the prison compound. Now. Oh, come on. In order to open up that door, I'm gonna take out this guy. Is where's that other guy? Die. Now, like I was saying, we had to have this guy help us. Free the trap one. The moon must appear before the first star. The sun rises next, after which comes two more stars. Uh, I'm actually gonna read that again and probably write that down. Hang on a second, guys.
Okay, so let me listen to this guy again and I'll write down what he says. To free the trapped one, the one must appear before the first star. Star, moon, sun. Star, moon, sun. One more time. Two, it's two stars. Alright, let's see if that works. Over to the door. Let's shut this guy up. Okay, so star, moon, sun, star, star. That didn't work. I think I might have missed missed one. Wait, unless. Unless it's moon, star, sun, star, star. Oh my god, that worked! I had it freaking backwards, Jesus. Hello, my little rabbit friend. Me, Bilberta, was out looking for gold when that boulder fell down and trapped me in here. I suppose you expect us to move it? If you wouldn't mind. Alright, we'll be back for Dilberto a little later, because she's important for our side quest. Ow! Actually... Okay, I actually wanted to take that intentional death because I believe that, yep, that puts me back in Humble Wumba. Like I said, infinite lives, making use of them. Uh, we want to go to the World of Tree exit. Because I believe there is one last thing we can do here in Mayhem Temple as of right now. Actually, how are my totals looking here? Uh, we're missing two jigsaw pieces. One which we can't get yet. And we have pretty much everything else too. Okay. <sighs> da -da 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 -da. Moving right along. Da -da 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 -da. I'm Banjo the Stony. Can I come in and play? Uh, I don't know. That backpack looks kind of familiar. Are you saying we're a bear and bird in, in the elaborate disguise? Trying to cheat our way in? Yep, it's pretty obvious. But they're a bit short on players, so we might as well go in anyway. Well, thank you. And we got a warp pad for the Mayan Kickball Stadium Lobby. Now, that gate will be important later. That goes to a way later world that we cannot access yet. Welcome to the Mayan Amateur Kickball Championship. You may enter the quarterfinals, but I'd advise take a little train downstairs first. I already know how to play. So let's just go ahead and head to the quarterfinals. Hey, Wack! Who's this ugly new guy? Hey, the best stony way. Oh, you bastard! Now, as for the controls for the kickball, you can move around, hold the Z button, T 
to kick the ball longer. And you have to score the most points throughout every round in order to win, in order to win the game. Oh, thank you. And it looks like I win the quarterfinals. Sweet. You've won your quarterfinal. Move on to the semifinals. If you guys are enjoying the series so far, please be sure to leave a like. Those shards look stupid. Hey, this Stony win. Now in the semifinals, we got these red balls, which actually decrease your score by one, so you have to be careful of those as you go along. Crud. would have gotten that in, I would have lost. Oh, jeez, thank God. You've won your semi-final. The man kickball final will be... The man kickball final beckons. Let's go. Now, in the final round, things are going to be a little bit harder, because not only do you have the balls that increase and decrease your score, but... You've no chance of becoming champion. Best Stony win. Because also on the course, we got the bomb. We got bombs here. Oh, you dicks! Oh, you little, oh, you bastards! Of Jesus! I declare you the new man kickball champion. I'm too choked up for words. Okay, and I think with that. There's still one last jiggy I can get here, but I think I forgot where it is, so. I'll probably try to look for that off screen, but I believe we're done here over in Mayhem Temple, so let's take an intentional death to get us back to Humba. Hooray, speed ring tactics! I need global next time. Bear change for free. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, because in every world, after you give a global to Humba Wumba, you can change back and forth between your transformation and your banjo Kazooie at any time. Uh, I'm trying to think here. Uh, I'm not I'm not gonna worry about the I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's just get head on our way here. 
Alright, there are a few things I want to do before I end off the episode here. First and foremost, it's to unlock the next world. Or the next two worlds if we have enough jigsaw pieces. Which I believe we should. Alright, here we go. Jiggly Challenge 2. Oh, come on. Grab the piece. There we go. Challenge 2, so now the Great One will show you the way. This here will actually be our next area that we'll be getting to, which is the plateau. And now we'll open up the second world. Nice. Now the question is, I believe we should have enough jigsaw pieces to open up world number three. You are indeed the chosen one. Also have enough jiggies to attempt Jiggy Wiggy Challenge Three. Uh, we do. All right. Come on. There we go. Uh, get that. That piece goes here. Goes up here. Uh, this one. No. Nope. Okay. Come on. What am I doing? Stop putting it in the wrong place. There we go. Three more pieces. Can I stop putting it in the wrong place, please? There we go. Entry to world number three. I believe I saw the sign. I think that said Witchy World. Okay. I don't think I have enough Jiggies to attempt challenge four. I think I need like at least twelve, if I'm not mistaken. Neither it's either twelve or sixteen. Twelve or fourteen. No, I do not. Challenge four. Uh, I need twelve Jiggies. Twelve or fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Okay. So, in order to get to the Wooded Hollow... Oh, this is the Wooded Hollow. There. Like I was saying, in order to get to the, uh... Oh, Freaking guys. Die. Here, into this little... What does this sign say? Magic global creatures are usually found here. Mumbo Jumbo and Humbo Wumba. That is actually good to know, Jam Jars. Thank you. The guy already knew that. Right, we're at the plateau. I believe I saw some notes up here. 
this is be the next world's name and called Liver Gulch Mine. Now, there is a Jinjo under that rock, but I think... I think I can kind of cheese it a little. I can, I can grab it. Come on, I know I can get it. I thought I could try to cheese it and get it. But here we have another jammed our silo. Was our new move this time? Now's the time for you to learn shooting eggs that crackle and burn. Fire eggs. Ooh, nice. Brand new egg that you have acquired. Now I'll tell you how they're fired. Tap her to get your eggs on view. Tap it again so it's right for you. That'll be all. This missed! I'm just waiting for the, uh... I'm just waiting for the... No, I don't need to hear about this. Now, in order to get to the, uh... The pine grove where the entrance to Witchy World is, we actually need the fire eggs to... Shoot this panel if I can get it. There we go. Open sesame. Alright, after we get the, uh, the next Billy from Jam Jars here, we'll head back in front of Glitter Gulch Mine and I'll end off the episode. Let's actually activate the warp silo, as well as the one in the, uh, the plateau as well. Ooh, just enough notes. The blasting things these eggs were made. Don't stand close when you fire a grenade. Grenade eggs. I, these are my favorite freaking eggs throughout the entire game. That'll be all. Dias missed. I'm just waiting for the moment where Jam Jar actually bonks his head on his silo. Did I actually get the uh, silo for the plateau? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. I need to go back and get it. Humble Wumbo here will come back to later because she needs like an extra special Globo in order to activate that magic. Yeah, the, uh, there it is. Okay, so. Okay, so we're back out in front of Glitter Gulch Mine. And next time I'll let's play Banjo Tooie, we'll be heading into Glitter Gulch Mine. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's episode. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. And please don't forget to hit the bell button after you subscribe to get notified of when my videos get uploaded. And I'll see y'all next time. Skunk, over and out.